all right what's up everybody this is uh my twisted life channel and i am poetry and of course my dog wants to start walking so you can hear him tip tapping all over the floor anywho um today is sunday it's supposed to be my weekly weigh-in um and it's usually like my super sunday i do all my weigh-in my workouts like everything core routines i'm not feeling it today i just don't feel like doing it today at all um I plan on, I weighed in Wednesday and I was up by 1.8 pounds, um, but I was in the middle of my woman's time, so it's a possibility that um, that 1.8 was just water weight, that's how I was taking it, um, but I just don't feel like weighing in today, so I'm not, I don't feel like working out today, so I'm not, so today's video really is just going to update you on what's going to happen um, for the rest of this week. Um, I kind of fell off at the end of last week. Um, on Friday, I was on my way to go pick up my daughter from college and got a phone call that her father had been in a motorcycle accident and it kind of threw me. Um, I expected it for her to take it really hard. Um, I think I took it worse than she did. but. Uh, we got on to see him today. Um, he had surgery, uh, ended up having to put rods in his back, and they expect him to be um, paralyzed from the situation. So this will be her first time going to see him since the accident happened. So that's what we do today. So I'm not. I don't feel like working out. I don't feel like doing anything other than that. Um, so like I said, let me get to what's going to happen this week. Um, like I said, I don't have cable, so when I watch my uh, TV shows, I watch them online, and I'm going to uh, post up the review on Monday for The Walking Dead, episode 5, season 7, episode 5, and Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 9, episode 3. So those are the two reviews that's going to go up on Monday. On Tuesday, you should have my Talk To Me Tuesday, Tell It Tell Tuesday. So I told you I have like a thousand names for Tuesday. And um, it may be something, um, I know I have to go grocery shopping with my mom. So it may be me, my mom, and my daughter actually shopping and you'll get whatever the hell we're talking about while we're doing that on Tuesday. In addition, um, since Love & Hip Hop New York actually... Um, premieres on Monday, November 21st. Um, I'm going to actually get my first review for that. So for Can't Think Straight Today. Love and Hip Hop New York premieres tomorrow, Monday, 1121. So I'm going to post up later today the um, thoughts on the trailer and the new cast that is coming out, who I did and didn't see. So I'm going to talk about that today. Um, we have four more weeks before America, America's Next Top Model comes out. So on Tuesday, along with the travel log, I will do the cast reveal, plus my um, opinion on the new panel and host of the show. Because again, Tyra Banks is no longer there. They did a complete revamp of the show. They took the men back out. Um, which a lot of people are upset about them taking the men out because a lot of guys wanted to compete on the show. Me personally, I want them to do a whole show with nothing but men. Um, I don't even want to see the women. I wish they would have did that cycle. But they went back to all women. It looks like they're trying to make it a very high fashion contour like show when I'm looking at some of the pictures from the, um, the website. I also see that it's a very diverse cast. I don't think I've ever seen this many black women on one season at a time of America's top, Next Top Model. They have a Latina, they have an Asian. Um, I don't think that I've ever seen them on the same season at one time. You like, you have an Asian person and be the only Asian person and you won't have a Latina person there too. Um, or you may have that one black person. I wonder which one of these cast members they're gonna try to make the angry black woman. There's always one every season. Um, they have a set of twins on there this year and 
there's one twin that really draws me. So you'll find out about her on Tuesday. My predictions on who I think may win. Um, I wonder if they're going to do like they have done in previous seasons. They'll post up the pictures from the photo shoot before they air the episode. So you could judge on who you thought would have the best photo. I actually don't want us as the... Um, I don't want us to judge on it, <laughs> actually. But I do want to see them so I can make predictions on who's going to get booted off based off the pictures. Um, then on Wednesday, uh, it'll be a weight loss update. I, I may weigh in since I'm not weighing in today. I'll let you know how that goes. And I'm going to go see It's Almost Christmas. So Thursday, it'll be my review for It's Almost Christmas. Um, that will be Thanksgiving. So um, I'm going to record that review Wednesday night and you probably won't see me on Thursday at all but that review is going to go up on Thursday. Um, I may record on Thanksgiving Day. Um, usually I cook at home and my mom ends up cooking something as well and she usually comes over here but I think she wants us to come there. I don't know because I actually didn't get an invite to her house because <laughs> she usually comes over here. But I know she's inviting people to her house, but I actually didn't get an invite, so I guess I'm just automatically invited because I'm going, like I said, we're going to the store together on Tuesday. Um, but my mother knows I, I won't hang at her house long because her guests smoke. I can't stand smoking. Um, and they drink. And once they get drunk, I can't stand to be around a lot of drunk people. So I'm not going to be there long. So I may still cook something at home for me and, me and the kid. Then um, Friday, like I say, Friday is usually no blog um, starting in January. So this Friday, I've just been doing random things. Um, so just expect a random uh, post on Friday. There may be Thanksgiving Day shenanigans. And Saturday, it's um, my connected day. Um, something that I'm doing around the house for my twisted life. Got a lot of crap to do. Um, but I think. I started that I was going to do this little personal growth challenge and from my personal growth challenge let me see if I can pull the book up because I still haven't received my book in the mail and I was talking to a couple of my girlfriends and they decided that they were going to do this personal growth thing as well we all have like a similar idea of what we want to do and we all just came together and said, you know what, let's all of us do it together. Oh, crap. I opened up the book and I didn't mean to open up the book. So, it's uh, Jason Harvey. Um, achieve anything in one year. Can you see that? I got a shaky hand. So, achieve anything in one year, Jason Harvey. I currently have um, at least the first week or two. Let's see. I have the first two weeks on Amazon Kindle for free. So I'm able to still go through the book with them, even though they have already got theirs in the mail. And I'm going to start documenting um, at least once a week what my week was supposed to be about and how much of it I've achieved and how I feel about the things. So I'm going to take you on my journey and I'm going to be documenting everything in my little cute journal that says, it's a good day to have a good day need this in my life right now so I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna start posting that up also either on Friday or Saturdays once I started really getting this rolling and really getting into the book like I should be so I'm on day five right now so I think I'm gonna um, come back on Sunday and like really start over and really get into it because I just been kind of thrown this week this weekend, I was doing great up until Friday, and then I was kind of thrown off by the accident and hearing about the accident. Cause like I say, like so many different emotions going around in regards to that. Um, and I'm not only like considering just my daughter, but her brother. Um, yeah, I thinking about them as well, and like I said I, I had pretty much a, a bad reaction to the idea that the man was hurt too. He's been an asshole of a father, but, you know, still has some type of compassion. Um, yeah, I got 
penis travel her her passport came in the mail so we're ready to start really getting Tokyo together um, she sent me a list of places that she wanted to go to um, places to go eat places to go shop and hopefully places to go see while we're in Tokyo and um, my friend was supposed to be going with us and I told her to send me a list or to research a list of like places that she may want to go see too because I want to make sure I got these hotels in like a reasonable spot I didn't know if I wanted to like get a hotel in one area and then we just train it everywhere because some of those places that I want to go to is like two hours from the hotel so it may be best just to get a hotel that's nearby and not just stay at one place but I need to like really want to map out plus she needs to give me um, or be able to uh, give the people that I'm booking these locations through her funds as well since we're like all splitting it and I'm not paying for anybody up front I'm not letting you pay me back everybody's gonna be paying for their own at the same time I'm only taking care of me and the kid that's it so by the end of this week she needs to know for certain if she's going she are, she got her passport in route so she says she's just going but she hasn't um given me any information as well and when I talk about getting the tickets she goes silent so we'll see how that goes um my play brother was saying he wanted to go with us too haven't heard anything back from him in regards to it so I'm not counting on them and I'm not reminding people about what they say they're gonna do it's just not how I'm gonna do things anymore you say you want to do it then you should know don't come to my why you didn't remind me why you didn't remind yourself you not reminding me I got to think up for it on my own so you got to go on your own as well so this is pretty much just the up, uh, update video um like I say I'm I'm suspecting that my weight um, even though I was up I thought it was up by water weight due to my cycle I expect or suspect that I actually probably gained that now because I've been eating gummy bears and Doritos um, and I, I don't think I'm emotionally eating I just need I've been craving a crunch and I've been craving a certain type of flavor like I could eat something and if it's not the flavor that I'm craving even though I don't know what that specific crave is I will keep eating until I get what I actually wanted and I've been craving like certain I've been craving something so I've been trying different things and it, I guess it turned out to be the Doritos with the nacho cheese dip last night because that's what I ate I think I pretty much ate the whole can of cheese dip I didn't eat the whole bag of Doritos though so that's how my weight loss is going right now um, but I'm I'm up until Friday I was working out good but mind you I didn't start working out till Wednesday so I guess that wasn't too good for the week but I'm gonna get back in gear after today just not today I don't feel like it today um yeah so that's about it so thank you for coming back um comment and I'm still looking for views on the curtains so far I got one for the printed pattern my daughter gave me a vote to keep up the old ones um let me see if I can give you a better view so you can see these two different designs this pattern or this pattern that's what I needed votes on to help me decide which one to keep up all right y'all thank y'all for coming back to my channel peace